welcome back if you've never been here before welcome to valerine's home and gardens now if you have looked past me onto the board you will see that we will be looking at how to calculate how much hardwood you will need for a given room now whether it's hardwood or it's laminate or even tiles you could use this same formula to see how much you will need to finish the floor in your space now let's just start with the fact that generally hardwood or laminate or even tiles come in boxes that have certain square footage in the box and so let's look at a box holding 23 square feet of laminate or hardwood we have a given space here that's 12 feet by 12 feet so the length is 12 feet and the width is 12 feet what we need to do first of all is calculate how much um, square feet are in the room, which is the area. The area of the room equals area equals length times width. So that will be 12 times 12, 144. So that's 144 square feet. So the room is 144 square feet. Okay, so what do we do next? We take the 144 and we divide it by 23 because there are 23 square feet in a box of laminate or hardwood. And that equals 6.26. That is how many boxes of wood we would need to finish the room. However, we have to round up because the wood is sold in boxes. So we will need seven boxes to finish this room. It is also recommended that you buy 10% more on top of whatever you calculate that the room needs however because this is 0.26 you will have quite a bit left over in that particular box that we round up so i wouldn't add another 10 um, percent on top of this now take for example you have a room that's 12 feet by 12 feet However, there is some type of an obstruction in the room. And say that obstruction is three feet by three feet. What you'll have to do then is find the area of this obstruction, which is three times three equals nine, and then take your 100 and 44 minus or subtract the nine from that and that will give you take one here three carry one five three that will give you 135 then you take your 135 and divide that by 23 5.8 seven and then we round up to six so we'll need six boxes instead of seven boxes and then you could go ahead and add your ten percent the ten percent usually is just in case there is any thing unforeseen circumstances that happen along the way i hope i did justice to showing you how to do your calculations here. So I'll have to erase what's here. So I can go on to a room that has a length that's 12 feet, eight inches by 12 feet, 11 inches. I wanna show you how to calculate when you have um, inches and not just feet. So let me go ahead and erase this. Okay, so in a situation 
situation like this where we have feet and inches what we'll have to do first of all is convert everything into inches okay so we'll have to take the 12 feet and convert that into inches how many inches are in a foot there are 12 inches in a foot therefore we'll take these 12 here and we will multiply by 12 so it's 12 multiplied by 12 equals 144 inches so we have 144 inches plus the 11 inches so that's the width is 155 inches now let's take the length that's the width the length is 12 feet 8 inches so what we'll do is convert this 12 feet into inches and that's 12 times 12 equal 144 plus the 8 inches so that's 152 inches therefore in order to find the area of the room, we will have to multiply the width, which is 155 inches by the length, which is 152 inches. So that equals 23 560 inches squared the next step is to go ahead and convert the inches back into feet and how do we do that because there are 12 inches in a foot and we're looking at the square feet we have to multiply 12 by 12, which is 144. So we'll take 23,560 and divide this by 144 inches squared. 163.61. So this, my friend, is the area of this room in square feet. Now, we already said that the box has 23 square feet of wood. So we'll take this 163.61 and divide this by 23. So that's 7.11 boxes of wood however we can't buy 0.11 box of wood so we have to round up we need that wood so we never round down we round up so we will need eight boxes of wood and that eight boxes should cover for that 10% overage so we don't need to add anything else to that eight boxes of wood now if we had an obstruction in the room like we did here we could go ahead and do just what I showed you in the previous example guys now if that was all clear to you please leave me a comment if it's if it wasn't clear to you leave me a comment still i am willing and ready to explain whatever you did not understand thank you guys so much for watching for subscribing liking and sharing if you find this video useful and you are not a subscriber please hit that subscription button remember also to hit the notification bell icon so you can know when i upload more useful content i'll see you in the next video